Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to be talking about angular precision. I'm going to be doing some segmented wood turning which is probably the most demanding thing for precision angles. Um, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go ahead and cut enough segments to make half of a circle, half of a ring. And when I do that and uh, glue them together it will make a, a gap you know, that corresponds to the adjustment that I need to make to make it perfect. And so uh, what I'm going to do, you know, after I put these together is measure this gap with a feeler gauge and also I need to know the, uh, the width of the joint and the number of segments, which in this case will be six since they're each 30 degrees. So uh, once I have that information, I'll be able to uh, make another triangle that's proportional to this one using the laser and uh, bouncing the beam off of a mirror that's attached to the jig and that, that's going to project a dot onto a, a wall on the other side of my workshop. Now this distance 1.4 is going to be proportional to that distance that the laser beam travels to the between the mirror and the wall and so as that increases you know so is this gap. That's going to be the horizontal distance that the, the laser dot needs to be moved over, you know, and adjusting the fence to, to uh, correct the angle error. So uh, I'll set that up as a proportion and, and uh, show you how that works. I'm going to get some real numbers to work with. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and saw some segments. As you can see here, I'm pushing these segments up against this straight edge to act as the center line and just bring them together until they touch. And as you can see, I've got a big gap right here on the inside and that's big enough I can measure it with uh, calipers. See if I can hold this while I measure it. I'm getting 0.139 as a gap and the width of the joint is 1.434. So I'll go back to the board and do that calculation. Okay, so I've got the measurement of the gap, 0.139. On this picture I've got it drawn on the outside, but it's actually inside. We'll just move it the opposite direction to make the correction and it'll be all right. So what we want to do is say that set up a uh, proportion, say that 0.139 divided by 1.434 is equal to the, uh, the width of the, the distance that will move the laser beam divided by uh, 250 inches. So let me figure that out real quick. 0.139 divided by 0.434. It's 0.097. Alex over 250. So then we'll multiply by 250 and that gives us 24 and a point 0.2 equal to x. But now since, uh, since we have segments, we have six of them, 
We need to divide 24.2 divided by 6. And so the distance that we move the laser beam will be 4.04 inches. Or just 4 inches because it's the laser beam is uh, not very good quality. It's uh, pretty fat. So we'll just move it over 4 inches and, and that should be good. Okay, so here's the setup. Uh, this is my jig that I made, the table saw sled, and it's got this fence, it's got this point, uh, these two bolts with wing nuts holding it in place, and I can just loosen this one up and, and it slides in this arc, you know, the head of the bolt, and uh, everything that's, you know, this fence and, and the mirror that's on it, will uh, they will all rotate together through the same angle. Here's the mirror I've got. It's just a piece of glass mirror glued onto a small piece of plywood with a hole drilled through it. I used a plug cutter and made a plug that fits. It's just a friction fit in this hole and it will go into this hole here on the fence. It's just a friction fit. Once you put it in place it's not going to move on its own but it's, it's loose enough where I can turn it by hand. So, putting that in place, I'll set the laser up on my tripod. It's got a, a, a threaded fitting on the bottom where it can be attached to a tripod. Makes it convenient. And I'll hit this late, the mirror with a laser beam and it will bounce off and hit the wall on the other end of the workshop. And from there we can measure how far over that dot needs to move. So this laser dot is over here uh, about 21 feet away from the mirror, or 250 inches, and it's hitting right here. I put a mark there. This other mark is 4 inches away, and uh, I'll move the fence enough to where the laser dot hits this mark instead, and that should make the adjustment. I'm going to loosen up these wing nuts to uh, move this fence. And this thing's awfully touchy, so. Not a little too much. Right there. Ready for the test. See how it does. That looks really good. There it is. I'll make six more segments to uh, make a full ring and see how that looks. But those look really good. And we'll check it along a straight edge. And it looks good. So I'll go ahead and glue this into a half ring. The more segments you have in a ring, and there's more potential for error. And it could be 
but what looks like a good uh, a good gap you know, in a half ring even if it's just a tiny bit of error you know it'll it's gonna double the the error when you put the two halves together so let's see how these fit Having a hard time telling if that's a shadow or if that's a gap. I'm thinking it's a gap. Because it's staying the same as a, maybe just a little bit. Yeah, it's a gap. Okay, I've got these two halves, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, glue them together on one side just to hold it still while I measure that real small gap so what we did before was a coarse adjustment now this is going to be the fine adjustment that's glued together it's touching here and there's a bit of a gap right there okay this here is a, a feeler gauge you can buy these automotive parts store it's got all these blades that are uh, different thicknesses. And I was a little bit off in assuming that, that gap was less than 10 thousandths. It's more than twice that. Uh, this blade here fits it very nicely, but it doesn't have the, the thickness on it. And it looks like it's uh, 24 thousandths, 0.024. It starts to go in there, and, and that's right there, about as far as it goes. So, um, let me mark that spot. Right up into that growth ring right there. So it's, oops, 0 0.024. I use 1.18, that's what I go with. Point zero two zero, and then multiply that by the distance, 250 inches, 5.08, and then we'll divide that by 12 segments. I want to move that laser beam a little less than a half inch. <laughs> okay, I've made the adjustment and I cut 12 more segments. I'm gluing them together now to see how it all fits. Now that's a perfect ring of segments there. Back it up where you can see it here good. That is perfection. And that final adjustment made the fit so much better. When you get a, a gap that's that small, you gotta ask yourself the question, do I wanna try to squeeze it just real tight with clamps or make another adjustment and you know waste a little bit of wood it's always best to me to go ahead and make the adjustment and do the best you can do i hope you enjoy it and thank you for watching